Senator Boni Kalwale. Mr. Speaker, sir, I rise on standing order number 123 to move the following motion. That Senator Sifuna Watea, bis, Watenya be suspended from the service of the Senate. Mr. Speaker, this is a standing order that was grafted to speak to what we have witnessed today. And Mr. Speaker, because this motion doesn't require substantiation, Mr. Speaker, allow me to say one thing in the footsteps of the Senator of Nyamira. Senators who are shouting at me, I respect you. And I cannot expect you to respect me. But let me tell you, amongst you are lawyers, I am the only member of parliament in the Republic of Kenya who has been decorated by the Law Society of Kenya. I have been awarded the highest award of respect, the Father Kaiser Award. I have been decorated, Mr. Speaker, by the International Federation of Women Lawyers. FIDA. Mr. Speaker, I want to appeal without naming names to the young senators I'm seeing in the House, including Okech, including Sifuna, including Ledema, to make time and swallow your pride and learn from us. It is not by accident that we have this number of years behind us in experience. It's not by, design, by accident, Mr. Speaker, that we have this many years of traversing the globe. Mr. Speaker, if you do not apply standing order number 20, 123 through my motion, we will have lost this house. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Sorry, sorry, Mr. Speaker, before you give the, the Honorable Ledama on his standing order, I, I request uh, Senator Kinyua, to, the Commissioner, to second my motion that Senator Sefuna. One moment. Uh, Senator Olekina, what's your point of order? M Mr. Speaker, I, I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I want to beseech my colleagues. Mr. Speaker, I would like to beseech my colleagues that we are mature men and women in this house. A few weeks ago, I mentioned to the majority leader that if these things proceed the way they are proceeding, he himself is losing this house. Mr. Speaker, I have sat here and I've been very, very calm today. I've listened, and I've listened to the majority whip. The majority whip has constantly used an parliamentary language. Mr. Speaker, the majority, the majority whip has also tried to rewrite our standing orders by standing and saying, I'm moving a motion understanding order number 123. Mr. Speaker, we have to give respect. And I've listened to the majority whip saying that the young senators please learn from our wisdom. But my question that I want to ask is that does that learning also equate to rewriting standing orders that are not in existence? Mr. Speaker, you know, I don't want us to get into a point where we are now directing the chair. But I want to follow the words of wisdom of Senator Mazayo. I want to beseech you, Mr. Speaker, that with all these emotions, I want to take full responsibility for what has happened on our side and request us to maintain decorum in this house. 
That is the only time that will be seen as being different. This shouting back and forth, shouting back and forth, is not going to help us. Yes, we are all human beings. We are people who lose our, our cool at any given time. But Mr. Speaker, being directed, and I know maybe what my colleague said may not be parliamentary, but having a situation where the chair and a senator exchange words, it really beats the purposes why we should be in this house in the first place. So Mr. Speaker, and I hope Mr. Speaker you can give me an ear. Minority Leader, can you please allow the Speaker to hear? Senator Mazzaio. Senator Mazzaio, please. Senator Mazzaio. Senator Mazzaio, please. Mr. Speaker, just give me your ear for three minutes. Yeah, because I've been interrupted. I, the minority leader has been talking to you. I want to beseech you. I want to beseech you, Mr. Speaker. I want to beseech you, Mr. Speaker. Not to let the actions of a spur of a moment dictate how you're going to deal with this matter. You've been invited by the majority side through a very unprocedural way to e effect standing order number 123. My plea to you as a colleague is that you let the bygones be bygones. Let us learn from our mistakes and let us find a way that we can be able to cool down these temperatures. We all need each other. And any given time when a senator is not seated here because of spur of the moment actions, the people that he or she represents end up suffering. So Mr. Speaker, today, the whole day, I mean, it's 5.32. You know, we are still waiting for the Speaker to come back. But the whole day, really, we have not discussed, there was a motion I know of Kenyans who are still seeking compensation from the bomb of 19, 1998. We have issues of electricity. Senator Chute discussed that issue. But you, do you really want to tell me, and this is to all of you, my colleagues, do you want to tell me that we'll reduce the two and a half hours that we have in the Senate to be a time when we can just be bickering and hallowing insults and calling each other's names. I am really, really disappointed. I'm ashamed of this house today. I'm really ashamed of this house. And I want to request my colleagues, please, let us act our age. Today we are not acting our age. Today we are insulting each other back and forth. You know, it is not helping us. I, I said I take full responsibility on what happened on our side, and I want to request you, Mr. Speaker, to let it by go. They are highly regretted, and the only way we can remain as one house, Mr. Speaker, is when we learn to tolerate one another. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator, Sir, I am following an order on the screen. Senator Cherogay, what's your point of order? Uh, Mr. Speaker, I think Senator, Senator Ledama should listen because he was also imploring to have. Senator, uh, Mr. Speaker, so on standing order number one and looking the motion that uh, Senator Boni Kalwala has brought under, article, under section 123, Mr. Speaker, uh, what happens is that uh, I only beg of you, Speaker, uh, with all humility, uh, it is that at that moment the Senator Sifuna should have been invited to apologize and withdraw, which did not happen. Speaker, looking at the emotions and agreeing that uh, this thing has generated, Mr. Speaker, and we know also you are a human being. Uh, we know you have powers of standing on the number one. We don't want to take to the House to the extreme end, Mr. Speaker, but in as much as Senator Ledama pleads with you, to let bygones bygone. Then, Mr. Speaker, there should be some level of remorse so that even as you take a decision whether to dispense off with Senator Bonde Halwale's motion as per Section 123, Mr. Speaker. No, no, I'm just, just see, you allow me to finish. I'm, I'm in fact in line with what you are saying. 
No, it is. The, the, let me invite you, Senator Eddie, and you know you are my friend. Article Section 120, Senior Counsel, can you do your job? You did it well when I was in, in remand. Can you please continue? <laughs> Understanding on the number 123 is that, Mr. Speaker, and standing on the number one, I know, Mr. Speaker, we are also human. They might have been that altercation, but looking at the unity of the House, and I'm, Mr. Speaker, I've seen you. You have invited that for 